to get started, let's go up to File and then Open Scene. You're going to want to click on Spaceship.mb and then click Open. So we have our reference planes in the top, front, and side view. We're going to start with a cube. So if you don't have your Polygons tab up, just click Polygons right over here. If you don't have any shelf tabs, go over here to this arrow that's pointing down, click and just choose shelf tabs right here. So I'm going to click on the cube to start and what I want is a transparent material on this object. So I'm going to go to Window, Rendering Editors and then Hypershade. I'm going to take this transparent material right here with my mouse over that material, I'll hold down the middle mouse button and drag over to the object. Now I'm going to close the hypershade. I'm going to tap the spacebar with my mouse over the front view and I'll press R for my scale tool. I'm going to scale this down so that it just fits inside um, so the bottom of the cube reaches the bottom of the body of the plane and the top of the cube kind of is in line with um, where the, um, the cockpit starts. So now I'm going to scale this cube out. I'm going to use the red box. I'm going to go all the way out to here. So right here, this is the area where the wing starts. So I don't want to scale out any further than that point right there. So I'm going to tap the space bar and I'll move my mouse over to the top panel and tap the space bar. This time I'm going to scale in the Z direction. So I'm just going to continue to scale this out and I want this this rectangular shape to match up with the main body of the spaceship. So I'm going to go over here to my channel box and I'm going to click on Polycube 1 and I want to change my subdivisions width to 2 and then press return. And what that does is that just basically adds an edge loop going through the center of the object right here. So now I'm going to tap my spacebar. I'm going to go over to the, uh, well we'll just leave it in the uh, four panel view. I'm going to press Q for my selection tool. Just move your mouse over the object and then hold down the right mouse button to bring up the marking menu and we're going to go to face. Now I'm going to click and drag a box around all the faces on the left side and then I'll press delete to delete those faces. Now I'm going to move my mouse over the object, hold down the right mouse button and go to object mode. Once I'm in object mode, I'm just going to select the object. And now I'm going to go up to edit, and then I'll go down to duplicate special, and then I'll go over to this little options box right here. So over here on my um, options, on the geometry type, I'm going to choose instance. So if you're on copy, switch to instance. And then over here on the scale, this is the most important thing. Um, your scale, this first box, should be set to negative 1. This is your scale X. So this is Y and this is Z. So make sure this number says negative 1. And then I'll just hit apply. And you can see right here, it duplicated that shape. So I'll close this. And I'll show you what the instance does. If I right click on this object and go to vertex, and then I just select the corner on the top right hand side, what it does is it mirrors onto the left hand side so you can see the corner is selected as well on that side. If I hit W and move down you can see that the movement is also mirrored. What this allows us to do is it allows us to just model one side of the spaceship and that can allow us to save quite a bit of time. Alright so I'm going to go back to uh, let's go to edge mode and I'm going to add an edge loop going through the center right here. So I'm going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. If you don't have the Edit Mesh option up here, check and make sure that you're set to the Polygons module right here. 
So go to Edit Mesh and then go to Insert Edge Loop Tool. And I'm going to tap the space bar. And I want to add a vertical edge loop following this line right here in the background image. So I'm going to click and hold and then drag until I line up my edge loop with that line and then I will release. Now I'm going to add, let's see, four more edge loops. This time I'm going to make horizontal edge loops. So I'm going to click on this edge right here. I'm going to drag until that green dotted line lines up with my reference. I'll add another edge loop right here. One here. And finally, one last edge loop right here. So I'm going to press Q to go back to my regular cursor. And I'll tap the space bar. I'm going to go over to my front panel. And then I'm going to hold down the right mouse button over the object and go to Vertex. I'm going to click and drag a box around this vertex in this corner over here. Then I'll press W for my move tool. I'm going to use this green arrow. I'm going to move these vertices down. So then I'll tap the space bar. Now I'm going to go over here to the side panel and tap the space bar. And I'm just going to dolly in here. And I'm going to select these vertices here, these two sets of vertices here, and then move them down. I'm going to select these two sets of vertices right here, move those down. And as you can see, I'm going to move down until the bottom, this bottom line right here, lines up with the line in the reference image. Okay, after that's lined up, then I'll click anywhere outside of the object to unselect it. And then I'm going to click and drag a box around just this vertex in the top corner. And then I'll click and drag to move this down. All right, I'm going to tap the space bar. And now I'm going to go to my top panel and start to move vertices here. So I'm going to click and drag a box around these two sets of vertices right here and then move this in. And then I'll just select this ver vertex and the one below it and move that in. I'll click and drag a box around these two vertices and move those in. And now just the vert vertices on the outside here. And then I'm going to click and drag a box around the vertices at the bottom and move them in. And this last set right here. I'm going to move these in and move them back a little bit on the z-axis. So let's, um, let's dolly in here and take a look. So I might just select these two vertices or these sets of vertices here and just move this down a little bit. So I'm going to tap the space bar and take a look at what we have in the perspective panel. So we've got the main body of the spaceship and the shape looks pretty good. So let's tap the space bar and let's start on the wings. So over here in the perspective panel, I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and go to face. And then I'm going to select two faces on here. So I'm going to click on the first face, hold down shift, and click on the second face. All right. Now I'm going to hit the extrude button right here. And over here in the front panel, I'm going to dolly in so I can see better. I'm going to use the blue arrow and move out to the next line on the pattern. And then I'll use the green box and scale this in. Now I'm going to go to the top panel and take a look over here. And I also need to scale these um, faces in using the uh, red box right here.
Okay. So you want to check and make sure that this is all, everything is lined up in the front panel, in the top panel, and it looks okay over here in the perspective panel. All right. So I'm going to tap the space bar and I'll do another extrusion. So I'm going to hit extrude and extrude out to the next line right here. And now I'm going to press R for my scale tool and scale this in. And then I'll press W for my move tool and move this selection back a little bit. I'm going to press extrude one more time up here on the shelf and go out just a tiny bit more. And I'll press extrude again. And one more time, going all the way out to the edge of the wing. Now, I'm going to right click and go to vertex. And I'm going to come in here and start to move these um, vertices out here so they match up with the pattern. So I'm going to press W, move them down a little bit. And this one will go over here. Move this. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to tap the spacebar, and over here in the perspective panel, I'm going to switch back to face mode and select two faces right here on the wing. So make sure you hold down shift to select the second face. Now I'm going to hit the extrude button up here on the shelf and I'm going to move this extrusion all the way, almost to the end of that pattern. And I'm going to hit extrude one more time to the very edge. Okay, now I'm going to tap the space bar over the top panel to expand that window. And I'll right click and go back to vertex. So I'm going to select these two vertices right here and the ones that are beneath them. Press W and move this in. So now I'm going to select these two vertices here, the one that's on top and the one right below it, and move this over. Now select these four vertices, so the, the two that are on top, as you can see right here, those four. Select all four of those vertices right there and move that in. Let me press F to frame this and I'll select these two. Move these in kind of around this corner a little bit. Okay, so let's um, go to the front panel. And now what I want to do is I want to rotate this wing so that it matches up with the wing in the panel, uh, in the reference image in this front panel. So I'm going to select all of these vertices here. Um, and this is important that you get this order correctly. So if you press E for your rotate tool, you could rotate this wing, but it won't really match up. So what we need to do is we need to change the pivot point. So I'm going to press the home key on the keyboard, or if you're on a shortened keyboard, you would press um, function and the left arrow. So you want to press that button, home, or the function and the left arrow. Or if you're on a PC, you'd press the insert button. That's going to that's going to allow us to toggle our pivot point. So I'm going to move this pivot point to the edge, right where the body of the um, spaceship meets the beginning of the wing. So once I've moved that pivot point, I'll press the same key again, the home key or insert key, or if you're on a shortened keyboard, function in the left arrow. So once I've changed my pivot point, then I can use this blue circle to rotate the wing so it matches up with the reference image. Okay. 
And in the second part of this video series, we will complete the spaceship.